going to begin with isometric graph paper here. So we're drawing the thumbnail sketches of our car. Sketches should be quick, one, two minutes per sketch um, in isometric view. So that's why we have this isometric graph paper here to help us out with that. So anytime you're drawing in isometric, you start out with big shapes, big rectangles. Because if we take a look at isometric graph paper, I have all of my lines going down and to the right are the x-axis. All my lines going vertical are on the y-axis. And all my lines going up and to the right are on my z-axis. So if I take that and I take a look at this, and I draw a line on my x-axis, draw a line on my z-axis, draw a line on my y-axis, this breaks it up into cubes. So we have tons of cubes all over this thing. And there's actually a back line to the cube that goes right through there when we're in isometric. So we have lots of cubes all over our board. Now that we can kind of understand some of these cube pieces here, we're going to get rid of that and we're going to start drawing our actual CO2 car block. So we're going to draw this front face. Front face starts out at this dot right by the one. Goes straight up vertical three. One, two, three. That gives me this vertical line right here. Now I'm gonna go do this long line here. That's going down and to the right, and that's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I got down this line. My next, last one is this little end right here, and that's coming up one. So I have a U shape here. Three, eight, one. Everything should be on a graphing line at this point. The next step here is to connect this eight, or sorry, this three, and this one. So I'm gonna start out at three, and look with my eyes down at the one, even though I got my pen up here, and I'm going to draw a straight line to it. And then I have my front face. This gives me the entire four sides of this front surface here. Okay, now we have to give it a thickness. So we're going back on the z-axis here. Start out right here, go back two. Start out right here, go back two. Start out right here, go back to. Bring those up and back around. There should be only two lines that are not on graph lines. And that's how I draw the blank to start out with for my car. I should have this done 16 times and we'll be cutting from that point. So you go back up to number one there, and we're all going to draw the first car exactly the same. Hopefully drawing those uh, blocks has helped you out kind of start visualizing and understanding. Everybody got them done perfectly in here, which is really good. Understand what's going on here. So, we're going to draw on this front face here to start out. So I'm going to start here, draw a bump, come down this line, draw a little triangle, and arc it right to the point of the car. So everybody try to draw what we have going here. And now with thumbnail sketches, if it's not perfect, I'm not looking for perfection. These are quick drawings that are supposed to get your ideas on paper. Get plans, ideas, thoughts, <coughs> and get you thinking about how you can build stuff. 
okay? Now, if we remember here, these are two away. So right here is one, two, straight up the back. drawn now too. And now we're going to come and connect across. So anytime there's a sharp corner, it has to connect to the back wall sharp corner. This is how we make it 3D. There's a sharp corner, connects back. Here's a sharp corner, connects back. And the back here connects back. So go ahead, get your corners connected back, and I'm going to erase out this little piece right here because that's hidden behind that surface. <coughs> All right. So now we're done with the front view cut. This is considered your front view. Now we're going to imagine cutting down through the top. So if you think about SketchUp, we're doing a push-pull on the top, okay? So we're going to draw an, an arc, but we're going to think about it being, you don't have to draw this dotted line, but here's the bottom of my car there. I'm going to draw an arc coming in on the side on the bottom of my car. At this point, I really don't know if that's an arc on the bottom or if it's an arc on the side. Coming up here, we will adjust whether it's an arc on the bottom or an arc on the side. So you just want to draw this arc right here. Okay? To get that to be a cylinder coming up through, I'm going to draw my lines vertical first. Perfectly vertical. They should be parallel to my other vertical lines here. <coughs> okay. So now I'm going to take these two vertical lines and I'm going to connect them with the corresponding arc on the top as well. So now I know this surface comes down, this surface curves in here, and it comes back to flat over here. I can kind of erase this out and help me see that a little bit better. And then this triangle actually moves to over here. And this part, if I wanted to, I can erase out. To draw a point on the front, are we good there? To draw a point on the front, angle the front down or run the front off. I'm gonna start at the center point. I'm gonna do a, a point on the front. I'm gonna bring this back to right here. Now that's a line I drew on the bottom. Bring that vertical and bring this curve down to the front again. So from the middle, back, straight up vertical and curve it back to the front. And now I have this surface flat here and angling into the front. I'm gonna draw a curve back here as well. And now I have a pointed down front on my car. So it kind of comes to a B. 